there is. There's the, the kind that's the whole fantasy, like this, right? So these foils are pretty much for the whole nail. Or you can cut them up as well too, but since they're like fully covered, you can pretty much do the whole nail in this kind of foil. Okay. And then you have foils that are like this, that are in pieces. And if you do like, if you want to do a design, see? It's not going to be even, right? We're going to have to cut it up and apply it where we want to so that we get a more cohesive design versus just her being randomly in different areas. And that is true for a lot of floral ones, okay? Like, these are so beautiful. Look at these flower fantasies, you guys. But because the flowers are a little bit all over the place, you know, we want to do one flower, it's not going to work because the other one is going to be all the way over here and if you put glue foil glue over the whole nail and you press it in you see all this clear that will leave residue on the nail and then it won't be able to stick and layer them so we're going to cut up our foils and only use the ones that we want so we're going to start out with this one Ooh, this pink one is so pretty she is calling my name so that way you only use the foil that you want okay and we're going to layer them for the fantasy layering the foils for the children this like wine color one is so beautiful Oh, you guys, finally, gel polish number 70 is restocked. And we finished production on her. But I do have to update you guys really quickly that she is updated. So she is more snatched now than ever. And what do I mean by that is that we actually updated the glitter. So before it was more like a matte silver. Now it's more of a hologram silver. So when you get number 70, please take into consideration. Please note that she is that hologram fantasy for the girls, for the children. Look at that. So she has big and small sequins with that glitter in there and she has everything. And of course she comes in the new packaging, which is the dream. Look at that. Oh, magic. So we're gonna use these. And it's all about having fun. It's all about layering. It's all about color choice. It's all about combination. Oh, look at this one, she's so cute. Some yellow, some orange. Should we do a bird? What do you guys think? Should we add a bird in here? The pumpkin ones. Valentine's Day vibes. What do you guys think? Should we do a bird, yes or no? Let's see what the girls say. Let us know in the comments below. Gotta get some blue up in here. Salud, this is a Boston. Hi from Boston. Lady, I don't have a ladybug. No bird. Oh, there is a ladybug. I lie. I'm sorry about that. Let's use the ladybug then. Here I am, like, where are they, where are they getting the ladybug from? And she's right there. Oh my gosh. Long moment. We make drills that play music. Unfortunately, that's not uh, an engineering possibility right now, but it is something to think about in the future. That was funny, like Ladybug one. 
Why are these girls seeing that lid book fantasy that I'm not seeing it? <sighs> that was funny. You guys, also don't forget that yesterday we launched the BB Ombre Halloween collection and that Halloween collection, there is only 200 sets worldwide of the BB Ombre Halloween collection. So if you want to get her, make sure you take advantage of it before she is gone forever. Let's add a purple because I know my Facebook girls love the purple fantasy. This rose, she is calling my name. Okay, I think that's enough. The foils only come in sets. And you guys are going to love this technique. The girls on Instagram really enjoyed it too. It's really dope. So let's apply our one, two, three, go nails. We're going to use the extreme score today. We're just going to apply these really quickly, okay? Nothing special. Just quick, easy, breezy, beautiful. For the fantasy. It's fine, so this one should be five two. Okay. Perfect. Yes. No, three columns, I think. Were there, was it kind of consistent or not really? Put it in here. Oh, okay. We've got a cross reference. So let's apply some DIY gel to the inside of the 123 Go. Remember, you guys, the clear DIY gel is also not available in the Costco size. Let's get our little flash lamp as well. So we can freeze the fantasy. I remember you guys, I already have my peel off base coat. That's how I remove my nails on every single application. Beautiful. Love the dear well. Isn't she a game changer? She is the revolution in a bottle, in a tube, in a tube. Press down firmly, make sure you don't have any bubbles. And see there, she stays in place. And you just give her a quick little freeze cure. I already did make a bigger tube of DIY gel. Where have you been, love? She came out last week. Last week, let's freeze it for one minute. And I have it here, I'll show you really quickly. So, this was the inspiration for today's design. As you guys can see, it is the layering of the foils. Look at that, you guys. So stunning. It looks hand painted almost, doesn't it? Look at that blue and purple one. So beautiful. Oh, here she is. I'll show you really quickly. I found her. Here is the large 35 ml. DIY gel. Incredible. I have peel off base coat, so this is a product I use. Um, you put it on your nail, you let it dry, and then the nails just pop right off like a press-on nail. So if you don't want your nails to last, you apply this. 
If you want your nails to last, prep them and they will never ever come off. They last for at least 21 days when applied properly. So I'm just going to really gently and quickly tailor the nail to fit. boxy square because that's what the kids like nowadays and then I'm just gonna really gently blend in the cuticle and again I apologize you guys if I can't get to every single comment right now during the snatching but I do try my best so let's really gently blend in the cuticle Let's take our smoothie buffer, buff the whole top surface of the nail. And you guys, our velvet gel really just opens up a whole new world on in foils and in um, stickers. It really just changes it so much. Ignacio was uh, reprimanding me because before I was very anti-matte and now I'm all about it. Who, Ralphus? Akianda? Oh. For work. Something about construction, right? So, usually when we apply the foil glue, we do it over the whole nail, right? So today we're going to do it a little bit differently. We are going to apply the foil glue directly to the pieces of foils that we cut. Why? we do be doing that crazy technique and I'll explain it really quickly. Usually if we apply foil glue to the whole nail, by the time we apply the, the design that we want, when you peel it off, for example this part will leave residue on the nail and if you want to layer the foil on top you won't be able to because this clear already left residue on the nail and by doing this you'll be able to layer it. So just take the little piece of foil that you want, take your Maxi Magic Film Glue and we're going to apply the Maxi Magic Foam Glue to the inside of the piece of foil that we cut and it's almost like we're making a sticker if you will a sticker or a water decal transfer Beautiful pink one. Yes. Mm hmm. Really? Which one was 69? Zero, zero, zero. But you didn't get the avocado ones, right? Yeah, because the avocado ones being discontinued, and the unicorn kiss, and the old lemon one too. Okay. So she's ready to go. The 
ladybug, you can't forget her. So essential to have our silicone tool ready so that way we can press, press, press the design. So important, a lot of elbow grease to make sure you get a really good transfer. Here is an angel one. Look how pretty that is. So baroque Madonna in with velvet. So chic. Let's do an extra 10 seconds. Better take this for So you can put a base color if you want, you can put a glitter, you can do some cat eye. We're just going to go with clear today and we're going to begin with this big beautiful pink one. And we're going to put her right here in the center. She is going to be our showpiece on this nail. Press down in the middle and firmly go up and we have to do this kind of slow because we don't want any wrinkling, okay? Force, okay. And look at that, how she transfers over. Beautiful. Just like a sticker or a water decal, look at that. So beautiful. And now we get to layer them. We can pick them up. There we go. And we're we'll do this with some elbow grease, you guys. We got our really make sure we're pressing like our life depended on it. No, this one should not want to transfer over. Maybe I didn't put enough on this one. Okay. 
she wasn't meant to be. So I think I need to put a little bit more foil glue on for these guys. I don't think I put enough. Don't be stingy with when you do it yours. Don't be like me. But that's okay because that gives us more opportunity to add more. So pretty. This good one's beautiful. Let's see if she wants to cooperate. So beautiful.
they go on. Right here. So while that one's curing, let's freeze these. Let's make these. Press, 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 press. to move the stickers over to the new shelving unit. Mm -hmm. It's nice, isn't it? Press, 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 press. And turn this ladybug applies nice and even. I need a new bottle of Max Magic Film Group. Bump the surface a little bit.
The great thing about the silicone tools, you guys, is you can really go around the cuticle, any hard to reach areas, and really press down firmly. For some reason, she doesn't want to stick. That is really strange. That has never happened. Troubleshooting 101. Only in a Max video. Let's troubleshoot together. Oh, and Tony's here! I'm sure we apply enough. Because I don't think I was applying enough. And let's make it for one minute. Let me get my other phone so I can get the comments first. Yeah, for sure, you can definitely cut them up prior and save them. That is correct. You put the foil on the... You put the gel on the foil, not on the nail first. Flowers are nature's diamonds. Bye bye! Flowers are perfect year round. So now we are going to take a 240 grit file, just file the sides very gently, make sure there's no excess. And I know right now it's looking a little wishy-washy, but we've got to trust the process, okay? We're going to take some shiny. We're going to do a nice thin layer. On 
IG, make sure you turn on the notifications. We're gonna add some Prisma, just to give it some dimension. And lately I love glitter over in matte. I think it looks so pretty. I'm using, of course, is Prisma. And we all know glitter hides a multitude of sins. Beautiful. Let's take this for 30 seconds. Clear foil on cure for one minute, then remove the foil. That would cause kind of like double sided sticky tape, so it'd be like sticky on sticky, so it wouldn't really stick. This technique, when it works, when she wants to, because I just did it on Instagram, I don't know why it's not working out. You can layer them. So right now when we put the velvet on top, you'll really be able to see the layering effects. So now we're gonna take the famous velvet matte gel top coat, and we're going to overlay the entire nail in a nice layer of velvet. And the velvet will actually make it look 3D. It's so cool. So make sure to apply enough velvet in the middle to encapsulate any glitters. So what I said earlier about flower foils or the foils that have designs that are really sparse in between, when you apply that foil, you can't really layer it because it'll leave residue on the nail and then when you put the other foil on top where that residue is, that clear, it won't um, transfer so then you have a big gap and like this you can have that 3D effect that we want like this right there. Okay, let's turn the head upside down for a few seconds to let itself level out. And we're gonna cure it for one minute. Okay. 
podcast. Cause totally, they totally get like a really cool 3D effect with the velvet versus with shine. It looks super chic. Even the stickers too, the stickers look so beautiful with velvet on top. So look at that, how beautiful it looks. Even the glitter looks really pretty with the velvet on top too. Ooh. The moment of truth is here. Are we ready to see everything you guys? Are we ready for that reveal shot? Da -da 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 -da. Look at that with the velvet on top. Look how stunning that is. Look how 3D it looks too. Wow. Bye bye. That's why I said we gotta trust the process. Look, you guys. Do you like my 3D garden flowers? This is the extreme. No, this is yeah, extreme square. Okay. Nope. Please. Bye. If you have any questions about shipping. You can always email info at enalcouture.com and they'll be able to assist you. If you have a package missing, make sure you email USPS or whoever the carrier is so you can file a claim too. And they have full support on their website. Let's apply a little cuticle oil so we're not dry. Wow, that velvet really turns it into magic, doesn't it? Look how 3D it is, especially the pinky one. That rose that has shadows in it, so stunning. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best nail products in the universe. And don't forget to check out this foil hack because look at the final result, you guys. So stunning. And what can I say? I love you guys so, so much. Try to stay out of trouble. I know that's hard for some of us. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.